So when I woke up this morning, I basically felt like I wanted to take a little break from building out the startup app. So uh, what I'm going to try to do today is actually customize my terminal to make the environment that I'm working in a little bit more enjoyable to be in, I guess. Uh, and I know there's a lot of things here that I don't understand myself, like how to work with the bash RC file. I've never done that before, never tried to customize anything really and uh, dot files, all those sort of things. I feel like some of those things are going to be related to this. And I've, I'm pretty sure that dot files is something that you can... I, I'm probably going to say something really weird, but I think that it's something that you can customize in some sort of way so that you can then, anytime you install Linux somewhere, you can just download those dot files from your Git repository, or you can create a Git repository for it. And then basically you'll have a, you'll be able to create a script that just sets everything up for you exactly how you want it on whatever, <clears throat> on whatever new Linux machine you're using. Uh, so that's what I'm going to try to figure out today. Okay, so right now I have everything figured out. I've set up Powerline, which is a terminal. I don't know what it is, but it's basically what makes my terminal look the way it looks right now. And I've also set up so that it has the Git status, which basically means that in the text in the in the terminal, you'll also see information about what Git branch you're on right now. Uh, which is pretty useful for me since like when you're working on different branches, it's always good to know which one you're on. And uh, now I think what I'm going to do is basically try to set up, fix the color essentially, make it look a little bit nicer. But uh, this was actually a lot faster than I thought it was going to be, so I'm pretty happy right now. 
famous last words. So I really love doing this stuff, even if I know nothing about it. And I just really like figuring these things out and learning as I go. And another thing that I've started learning about lately is neural networks. And this is something that I really want to be able to understand at a more deep level. And I've been going through this really great course on brilliant.org that teaches you neural networks and how it all works. Brilliant is a long-term partner for this channel because I really like what they're doing and what they stand for. In addition to computer science, they're also the best platform that I've found for teaching maths and science in general. They have courses that will teach you everything from how to code with Python to neural networks to scientific thinking and basically teaching you how to use first principles to break down problems in visual and hands-on ways. I really can't recommend Brilliant enough and I'm proud to have them as a sponsor for this channel. And thanks to our collaboration, you get a seven day free trial of Brilliant Premium to try out. And once you've done that and tried it out and realized that you like it as much as I do, you'll also be able to get a 20% discount on an entire year of Brilliant Premium. So go check it out at the link in the video description. All right, so now I've finished this thing. It took me ages to do it. It wasn't that difficult. It was just that I didn't understand how to change the colors for like to how to customize the actual thing that I installed. So the thing that was simple was that you basically just need to install Powerline and then it will end up looking something like this. It won't look exactly like that, but it will look very close to it. And then I basically spent, it's 2 p.m. right now, and I started at 7 a.m. So I spent all of those hours pretty much just trying to figure out how to customize the colors for all these different things, uh, which is a ridiculous amount of time to spend. I spent, I did some other things too, but it's still a ridiculous amount of time to spend to try to figure this out because it actually is dead simple. So once you've installed Powerline, I'll leave a link in the description to the tutorial that I followed for installing Powerline. But once you follow that tutorial and install everything, you'll get a directory that'll be within like the .config slash, uh, slash Powerline slash color schemes. And then in that folder, there'll be a file called default.json. If you open up that file, you'll basically get a JSON file with lots of different things uh, and keys for different things. Each of those keys are essentially a different part of the terminal thing here. So uh, there's one called user or yeah, user. And what that will do is if you change that, it will basically allow you to set these colors, the text color and the background color. And it's actually super simple. You just need to play around with it, change the colors and you'll see what changes as you do that. Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, what I kind of struggled with. I struggled a little, little bit with adding the git feature, or the git status feature as well. So as you can tell here in the terminal window, uh, I also have a git feature that says which branch I'm currently on. So right now I'm on load workout branch in my Exalog app. And that's something that I think is super useful to have. So I'm really happy that this was a feature that was able to be added. I didn't know that was going to be a thing, but I think that's really good. And then I was just like spending time styling this thing, trying to make it look the way that I want it to look. And now I'm super happy with how this turned out. And I'm super excited to actually work in the terminal now. I'm, I usually like working in the terminal, but now it looks really good. So I'm even more excited. So yeah, I hope uh, some of the resources that I'll link in the description will help you guys in, in case you wanna do this yourself. But yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one, which will be a startup vlog.